Good morning everybody, I'm back, I am inside and it's cold which can mean only one thing, I'm back in the UK after a great time in Jordan. Wrote a little bit about some of the things I learnt in Jordan which is on my Facebook page, the link in that is in the description so you can go and find out a little bit more about it if the vlogs weren't enough for you. As promised now today I'm going to show you some of the old archive footage, if you remember from a few vlogs ago I took out the old tapes from an old handheld recorder that was stuck away in the loft with some old family footage and this had all sorts on it but in particular there was an array of skiing trips. Now what you're going to see over the next sort of minute and a bit or so is stuff from Leger, from La Plan and Les Arcs. It's really quite cool and interesting. I think you'll like it. Take a look. Yes, yeah, so even my dad liked to take the angle with the camera of going up on the chairlift, which I've done a few times. But uh, the quality is nothing like what cameras are like today, but it, I don't think it took anything away from uh, the feel of it. I did try and edit all it down to make it seem like a little bit of a movie. Um, I was a bit surprised that even at the age of, I think it's seven, because those are around 2001. No, when I was eight years old at that time, I'm still, or I'm starting to already talk to the camera. Um, so who knows, obviously this hobby is clearly something that I've enjoyed doing uh, in the past. But if you've got any stuff like this, I know I've mentioned it before, do get it out. Particularly if you're a video maker, it can make some quite um, interesting things to use in a future movie. But that's my vintage footage. So we can now move on to news and I want to talk first of all about alpine skiing racing, something that I really, really am passionate about and I also enjoy watching. It was a huge weekend for the men, particularly with the Super G race taking place in Lake Louise. We're now in the American stage of the tour. This weekend it was won by the Norwegian Kjetil Jandrun. His storming run resulted with him ending up with a time of 1 minute 33.52. In second place behind him was the Austrian Vincent Karish... Kar Hang on, I'm going to have to look at this. Kreishmar. Or is it Kreishmar? Kreishmar, yeah. And then coming in third was the Swiss Maro Caviciel. Can't even pronounce that either. Another thing that made the weekend in Lake Louise so eventful was the retirement of Canada's greatest skier, Eric Gay, the two-time world champion, very shortly before the start of the weekend, announced his retirement from the sport following one of his teammates in training, Osmond, Manny Osmond Paradis, breaking his leg. He thought to himself about the situation and his, his sort of health and decided that enough enough was for him. But uh, Eric Gay was a really, really good skier. All rights and credits go to FIS for the footage of the racing that I have just shown. This is from their YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description to the two videos that I have used. But it is always awesome to see uh, people going well over 100 kilometers an hour. As for the female skiers this weekend, we'd need to head over to, to, across the border into Vermont, where America's own Michaela Schrifferin claimed her 34th victory in the slalom. A really, really good win for her. She had a storm second run by all accounts and came home with a clear victory. 
Yep, that's right, sound that klaxon because the snow is finally falling in Seoul. We've had a few days of cold temperatures earlier on where they were able to get the cannons going. The last few days there was a lull. Finally the temperatures have dropped and it has clouded over. I am looking at the webcams right now and I'll switch it around and it is coming down. Not by a lot, there's been about 5 to 15 centimetres over the last 24 hours with a little bit more forecast today. But it means good things for the coming weeks. As for my season, we have just... Is that the right way? Ooh. 10 days left until I fly out to Italy for four days training and then it is on to Austria. Now the drive between Garda to Sol is only about three four hours. I thought it would be longer maybe about six or seven but I guess it's also depending on what uh, the weather and the traffic is like. Austrian roads are pretty good usually anyway um, so there you go thanks very much for watching today's video bit of news bit of a throwback with some old vintage footage hope you like it really cannot wait now to get out there get skiing uh, I like the cold temperature but here in England it's just horrible and miserable it's three degrees and it's nowhere near even snowing it's raining outside I'd much rather be where that uh, webcam is in Seoul right now and enjoying it there enjoying the snow see you guys next time